Hey guys. So normally I come on this page and I'm like giving you ideas and telling you what you can do in your business to help you. And we're kind of going to go backwards. We're kind of going to go the opposite way. I'm going to tell you what not to do or what to stop doing in your business. I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes you don't need to do everything and it's going to really make your life better. It's going to make your business better. So think about simplicity. What can you cut out? Making samples. Do you need the cutest samples in the world to send to your customers? You do not. If you are just starting out, if you're working a full-time job and this is your side gig, what are you doing? What are you doing making cute little mold samples? Don't do it. Don't do it. Just let it go. I literally took a crinkle cutter to this bad boy, slapped on a label, put it in the mail. Okay? Your customers do not care if your scent of the month is shaped like a grapefruit or a snowman or a snowflake. If you have time to do that, then that's fine. I'm not saying you can't do that. It's your business. You do what you want. But if you have a full-time job, if you're a mom, if you got all this other stuff going on, think about what you don't need to be doing in your business. What are income producing activities? I know that we talk about this all the time, but what actually is good for your business? Talking to people about booking parties, you know, showing up, showing up. You have to work consistently. That's all there is to it. Same thing with going to the gym. You can't show up like once a month and be like, oh, do I have abs? No, not going to happen. Another thing you need to do is get off all the Facebook pages on social media. You know how many Sensi pages I am on on social media? Too many. Too many. It was giving me anxiety. I kept getting notifications. Some of the pages are negative, And I was like, I don't need that in my mind space. So guess what I'm going to do? turn it off. You don't need to be on a thousand Sensi pages because guess what? There is no such thing as a Sensi emergency. I hate to tell you guys that. I love Sensi. I, you know, I love this company, but nobody is going to be like in the middle of the night, my customers are gonna be like, you know what I need stat? I need some wax at 1am. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to do that. It's wax. Okay. So take your time and your energy and put it where it belongs. Go ahead, go through the groups that you're on on Facebook and say, delete, 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 delete. If it is not serving you, take it off your plate. That's all there is to it. Take it off your plate. Do things simply. You do not have to have all these elaborate things. You do not. I post ideas for you if you want to do them. That doesn't mean, hey, Faith made a cover for her catalog. Do I have to make, do I have to make a cover? No, that's, I, this is what I do full time. If you can't do it, tape a business card on there. I don't care. I do not care. As long as you're getting your catalogs out and you're doing your follow-ups. Keeping it simple. I feel like sometimes we overcomplicate this business and we're like, well, I don't have any of the basis. I need to do this. I need to do that. No, you don't. Do you? Do you really though? Do you really need to be up at 11 o'clock answering text messages from your team? No, you don't. You don't. And that's okay. So I'm here to tell you to stop doing things in your business. If it's not serving you, if it's not simple, if it's not bringing you joy, stop doing it. So I, ha I, was, I was feeling some sort of way today, so I wanted to let you guys know that um, tons of things you can do in this business, but just make sure that when you do things, they are intentional. They are a good place to put your time, and that is what it's about. So I love you guys, and I wish everybody a happy Wednesday, and I will talk to you all soon.